Accuracy and timeliness are essential in screening newborns for 27 disorders as required by the state of Texas. This video demonstrates the elements of screening, at what times to do the screenings, the specialized supplies you need to use, completion of the required demographic data on the collection form, how to perform an appropriate heel stick and collection of the blood sample, and how to dry and mail the collection form. The first screening specimen must be obtained when the newborn is between 24 and 48 hours old. A second specimen must be collected by the baby's health care practitioner when the newborn is between one and two weeks of age. The newborn screening sample must be collected using specific supplies that must be ordered from the Texas Department of State Health Services Laboratory. Use the DSHS Newborn Screening Supplies order form to make your orders. The collection kit contains a specialized filter paper collection form that includes an area for recording patient demographic information and a special mailing envelope. The filter paper has five circles onto which the blood specimen will be applied. The specimen collection form must be completed with all information filled in before the sample is collected. The form is made of a special filter paper with five circles for the blood sample. It is imperative to avoid contaminating the filter paper. Do not allow the circles to come in contact with spillage. Do not touch the circles before or after the blood is collected. For the heel stick, safe puncture sites are limited to two areas of the heel, as indicated on your screen. Doing the heel stick outside of these areas may puncture the baby's calcaneal bone. The heel must be warmed for optimum specimen collection. Use an infant heel warmer or moisten a soft cloth with warm water up to 41 degrees centigrade. Wrap around the heel and hold it to the heel for three to five minutes. Please remember to use sterile gloves while handling the baby for the prep and stick. The next step is to cleanse the site with sterile alcohol prep and wipe dry with a sterile gauze pad. Be sure to let the site dry thoroughly. For the heel stick you will need a sterile lancet with a tip that is approximately two millimeters. Puncture the heel and wipe away the first drop of blood with sterile gauze. Allow another large blood drop to form. Lightly touch the first circle on the filter paper to the large blood drop. Allow the blood to soak through and completely fill one circle at a time. Apply blood to only one side of the filter paper. Avoid having anything but the blood drops come into contact with the circles. To enhance blood flow in order to fill the circle, you may apply very gentle, intermittent pressure to the area surrounding the puncture site. Fill the remaining circles in the same manner with successive blood drops. If blood flow is too diminished to obtain large drops, repeat the prep and puncture process to complete the collection. Care of the puncture site should be consistent with your institution's procedures. Let the blood spots dry on a clean, flat, non-absorbent surface for a minimum of four hours. Place the completed collection form in the special envelope that came in the specimen collection kit and mail it to the testing laboratory within 24 hours of collection. It's crucial that the form be mailed no later than this. Thank you for viewing the demonstration of how to collect and submit the newborn specimens for testing. Accurate screening is critical. It can make the difference between lifelong disability and a healthy life for Texas children.